Amazon is now offering exclusive items from the likes of their Kickstarter campaigns to give consumers early access to new inventions. Joining us now to talk about this is Michael Andronico, the associate editor of Tom's Guide. And Mike, l let's talk a little bit about this. This is obviously good news for those inventors who have developed new products and raised money on things like Kickstarter, other crowdsource, crowdfunding platforms to produce them. But why does this or how does this benefit Amazon.com? Sure. So the way this benefits Amazon, in my opinion, is it shows their consumers that they're on, they continue to be on the cutting edge, that they're aware of what's cool in tech. Um, they're aware of these up and coming gadgets. And um, it, it just, I think if, if nothing else, it gives, it gives consumers confidence that Amazon is not just a site that sells major goods, that they're, they're willing to go out there and, and, f and find unusual and cool things for their shoppers. Now, now, these are all crowdfunded items that they've already come to market. They've seen some kind of success. Do you see cust customers here really being eager to buy all these items listed as Amazon exclusives? Have they already lost maybe some of their momentum and some of their, uh, I guess, appeal since they were actually crowdfunding, at least in that stage of their development? Yeah, it's very tricky. Um, select devices, for example, you think about the Pebble Watch. That started as a Kickstarter device. And now that's a massively successful smartwatch that people still buy. So I think there will be exceptions that, that make it past the crowdfunding stage and do sell well on Amazon. Uh, but for, for a lot of products, they're going to have to be something special for, for people to want to buy them once they've already been crowdfunded. Now, what do you think Amazon's motivation was in investing in this kind of a program to, to, to have them be the exclusive third-party retailer of some of these uh, unique items? Sure. I think Amazon really just wants to, to remain on the cutting edge of tech. They've, they've kind of dipped their toes into everything over the years, whether it be experimenting with drone delivery for shopping, producing original TV content, dipping into gaming. So they, they really want to be on this frontier. You know, crowdsourced, crowdsourcing is getting more and more popular. And when, when these big tech trends get popular, Amazon tends to capitalize on them. Now, w w one more point here. This is Amazon, you have, in order to be on this Amazon exclusives platform, you have to sign up to be the exclusive third-party retailer, have Amazon be the exclusive third-party retailer for this, but you can still sell it on your own website and through your own channels here. What does that bring to the dynamic of the sales side of things for both the companies that are providing these products as well as Amazon.com? Well, I do think it's beneficial for the companies because if if someone's not buying your product directly from you, they're, they're likely looking for it on Amazon. So, you know, if Amazon is your only third party option, I think it's the best option to have. Um, as far as how it will affect how many people will buy from companies directly, that we'll have to wait and see. All right. So it looks like Amazon.com could be a, at least a windfall for some of these companies if they can get the reach that Amazon provides. Thank you so much, Michael Andronico. Uh, that's Michael Andronico, the associate editor from Tom's Guide. And thanks for watching TechBet. I'm Dominic Chu. Have a great day. Hey, YouTube fans. I'm Landon Dowdy from CNBC. Thank you so much for checking out our channel. You can subscribe by clicking right here to check out the latest Mad Money CEO interviews, market news, financial advice, and product unboxing. Enjoy. Enjoy.